You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor, back for another show and more bone-chilling truth. And if you haven't already subscribed to CNA TV, please hit the subscribe button down below. It's cold in the Ozarks, but the hot apple cider I hold in my hands, mm-mm, tantalizes the senses. Inside our house, soup is simmering. As the vegetables from summer's harvest Mix with the fresh herbs and spices. Mm. Life gets even better. Next week it will be chilly on the stove and stew the week after and trips down memory lane. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of apple cider and my day will begin. I am glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. Friends, this show is about how rich we are. Friends, when you say, enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. And I will with this story. Two children, Matt and Mandy, huddled inside the storm door of my grandmother's house. They wore ragged, outgrown coats. Any old papers, lady? She was busy. She wanted to say no until she looked down at their feet. Hmm. Thin little sandals sopped with sleet. Come in and I'll make you a cup of hot cocoa. There was no conversation. Their soggy sandals left marks upon the hearthstone. She served them cocoa and toast with jam to fortify against the chill outside. Then she went back to the kitchen and started to work. The silence in the front room went through her. She looked in. The girl held the empty cup in her hands looking at it. The boy asked in a flat voice, Lady, are you rich? Am I rich? Mercy, no, she said as she looked at her shabby slip covers. The girl put her cup back in its saucer, carefully. Your cups match your saucers. Her voice was old, with a hunger that was not of the stomach. They left, then holding their bundles of papers against the wind. They hadn't said thank you. They didn't need to. They had done more than that. Plain blue pottery cups and saucers, but they matched. She tested the potatoes and stirred the gravy. Potatoes and brown gravy a roof over our head, a steady job, and 
these things matched too. She moved the chairs back from the fire and tidied the living room. The muddy prints of small sandals were still wet upon her hearth. She let them be. She wanted them there in case she ever forgot again how very rich she is. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Let me share this poem whenever clouds arise. Whenever I am tempted, whenever clouds arise, when song gives place to sign, when hope within me dies, I draw the closer to him from care he sets me free, for his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Friends, closing here on a personal note, I've often spoke about Doc McCracken in my stories and how great he was. Well, his youngest brother, Howard McCracken, passed away on Saturday at the age of 98. He reminded me so much of Doc. He'll be greatly missed. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. Time now for the pups, Cora May and Bubba, to eat. <laughs> so I'll see you all next week. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm. <laughs>